thank you for stopping by and welcome to the channel in today's video we'll be riding the toronto cne and calgary stampede skyride for those that didn't know the skyride replaced the old alpine way gondola which was dismantled in 1994 to make way for the direct energy center which is now the inner care center and that building is on our right so the old Alpine gondola used to be 700 meters long or 100 feet in height and the sky ride is only 500 meters long and only 40 feet in height. The Canadian National Exhibition CNE or the X is an annual event held for 18 days in a row from mid-August to Labor Day weekend at the Exhibition Place in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. With over a million guests in attendance, this fair is rated in the top 10 of North America's largest fairs. And the vendors directly below us are mostly games. Stop. For the past two years, the CNE has been closed due to the pandemic. So before the pandemic struck, attendance at the 2019 CNE was nearly 1.5 million, up from the previous year of 1.3 million. And usually the biggest crowds are during the Canadian International Air Show during the Labor Day weekend. So this is the Saturday before the Labor Day weekend. So you can expect a bigger crowd that weekend than what you see here. I remember during my teenage years, kids used to hang out in front of the Polar Express and listen to the music. That ride made its Canadian National Exhibition debut in 1980. And that's the ride coming up on my left. It's at both the CNE and the Calgary Stampede. Get a ride up for the onion. you'll see some of the exact same rides and concessions at the c and &E and the Calgary Stampede. You ride it all the way to the top, all the way to the top. I love, don't sit there. Like the Polar Express on my left. And the mini donuts on my right. Also on my right, the ride that looks like a roller coaster is called the Crazy Mouse. And they have it at both the c and &E and the Calgary Stampede. Also on my right, that aisle way with all the green and yellow tents are Midway Games. I guess this would be the intersection of the Midway Games and rides. So most of the rides are on the two aisles on the left.
swing ride and that spinning one where you stand I believe they're both had at the Calgary Stampede coming up on my left that log water ride I know they had at the Calgary Stampede because they're both called Niagara Falls and below on my right is where you could buy the ice cream ketchup and mustard Hence below on my left are vendors selling all kinds of items. Stadium on my right is BMO Field and that's where the Toronto Argonaut football team and the Toronto FC soccer team play. Look below us, that's the start of the lineup for this ride. Look how long that lineup is. Here we are at the Calgary Stampede, the greatest show on earth. It's an annual rodeo exhibition and festival held every July in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And the 10 day event attracts over 1 million visitors a year. Hi, who are you? Stampede features one of the world's largest rodeos. In 2008, the Calgary Stampede was inducted into the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame. The event can be traced back to 1886 when the Calgary and District Agricultural Society held its first fair. So in 1912, American promoter Guy Whittock organized his first rodeo and festival known as the Stampede. So by 1923, the Weddock Festival became an annual event when it merged with the Canadian Industrial Exhibition to create the Calgary Exhibition and Stampede. The Stampede has grown into one of the world's richest rodeos and one of Canada's largest festivals. The aisle on the left is lined with all food trucks and at the very end is the Saddle Dome which is the home of the Calgary Flames hockey team. On April 23, 2020, the Stampede was cancelled for the first time in almost a century due to the pandemic. In 2021, the Stampede opened its doors again, but in a controlled, scaled-down version due to the pandemic. But for 2022, as you see here, it's back to normal. So the official attendance number for 2022 at the Calgary Stampede was over 1.2 million, just slightly less than the total of 2019 before the pandemic. The Sky Ride was added to the Midway in 1979.
building on my right is the Big Four, where they have mechanical bull riding and a bar, where they have line dancing. Big Four building is named in memory of A.J. McLean, A.E. Cross, George Lane, and Pat Burns, four businessmen who together contributed $100,000 towards making the first show a reality. Calgary becomes Stampede City for 10 days every summer during the Calgary Stampede. You'll see people in the whole city help celebrate this festival. The whole city takes on a party atmosphere during the Stampede and office buildings and storefronts are painted in cowboy themes, residents don their western wear and events held across the city include hundreds of pancake breakfasts and barbecues. We found during our visit, people would be wearing their cowboy hat and boots throughout the whole city. Unlike the city of Toronto, which hardly participates in their fair, the CNE. Coming up on my right is the Polar Express, which is a popular ride at both the Toronto CNE and the Calgary Stampede. Coming up on my right is the water ride Niagara Falls. 
which I believe is at both the CNE and the Calgary Stampede. Building on my left coming up is the GMC Stadium, and that's where the rodeo is held. So inside, you'll see events like barrel racing, bull riding, tie down roping, steer wrestling, saddle bronc, and bareback riding. The rodeo is the heart of the Calgary Stampede, and it's one of the largest and most famous events of its kind in the world. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. I hope to see you in our next video.